Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to use the root test to solve series in Calc 2. So first, let's talk about what the root test says. So if I have some series a sub n and the starting bounds don't matter, then in order to use the root test, I need to take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of my series. And when I do this and I evaluate it, I'm gonna get one of three results. I'm either going to get less than one or smaller than one, which means that our series converges. I can get greater than one, which means the series diverges. Or if I get exactly one, then we say the test is inconclusive and we would move on to another test. Now the good news is, as far as the root test is concerned, there's only a few examples where the root test is the best one to use. And that is specifically when everything is raised to the n power. So to show you what I mean, let's look at some examples. For the first one, let's say I have the series from n equals one to infinity of negative one to the n plus one times one fifth to the n. And I wanna use the root test to prove whether this converges or diverges. Now, honestly, you could probably get away with just a geometric test to prove whether it converges or diverges, but I'm gonna do the root test anyway just to show you how to use it. So watch. Limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of, since it's absolute value, that just completely takes away the negative one part, and it just leaves me with one-fifth to the nth power. Okay. Now, the one thing you need to remember is that when you have an nth root and the power of n, these two things cancel each other out, leaving you with just one-fifth. And that's why the root test works so well for problems like these. And so the answer we're gonna get is just one-fifth, like that's it. And one-fifth is less than one, so we're gonna say it converges by the root test. And that's it for this first one. So this is like the best case scenario for the root test. Now let's look at one that's gonna be harder. The series from n equals two to infinity of n over the quantity natural log of n to the nth power. And I'm telling you, I wanna do the root test for this. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of n over natural log of n to the nth. The good news for this one, since there's no negative parts, I don't even need the absolute value to worry about. But before I say that this n and this n cancel each other out, because they do, the problem is it doesn't cancel out in the numerator. So how do I deal with that? I'm gonna rewrite this problem like this. Limit as n goes to infinity of quantity n over natural log of n to the power of one over n. In other words, nth root is the same thing as one over n power. Now I can distribute this one over n to the numerator and denominator, and we end up with this of n to the one over n divided by natural log of n to the nth, and all of that is raised to the one over n. So in other words, in the denominator, that's gonna cancel, leaving you with just natural log of n in the denominator. And in the numerator, it's n to the one over n power, which is not pretty. So in order to solve this limit, because this is an indeterminate form, it ends up being infinity to the power of zero in the numerator. I'm gonna have to solve this using a little method that we learned in Calc 1. I'm gonna set this limit equal to y, and then I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides. So we'll end up with this. And the reason why we would do this is because now on the right side, we remember our properties of logarithms it's going to be the natural log of n to the one over n minus the natural log of the natural log of n. And this first one here, the one over n can be pulled out in front. So we really have this. Nothing I can really do for the second one. But now I can plug in infinity. Well, technically I can't, but it is L'Hopital's rule for the first natural log of n over n. And the reason why it's L'Hopital's rule is because it's infinity over infinity. So then I take the derivative of my numerator, it will be 
1 over n. Derivative of the denominator is just 1. So we get 1 over n. And we know the limit, because again, this is still the limit as n goes to infinity. This is going to be 0. But don't forget, we still have to plug in infinity into this part from earlier. And that is going to end up being 0 minus infinity or just negative infinity, which looks bad until we remember that the left side was the natural log of y. And if I want to solve for y and ultimately solve this limit, I got to take base e of both sides because that cancels out the e in the natural log. On the right side, this is e to the negative infinity. And e to the negative infinity is the same thing as 1 over e to the infinity because of how we deal with negative exponents. And this is going to be 0. And because we got a result of 0, that is less than 1. So we're going to say converges by the root test again. So that was definitely a harder one. Now let's do one more. I have the series from n equals 1 to infinity of e to the negative n times n cubed. For this one, the first thing I'll do is I'll rewrite it like n cubed over e to the n, because again, the negative exponent can just be put in the denominator, and that makes my life easier. And if I want to use the root test here, which would be a good idea, because n is in the power there, although to be perfectly honest, I'd, I'd rather use ratio test if I have a choice, but I'm saying use root test. So it's the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of n cubed over e to the n. And then I do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to break this up into n cubed to the 1 over n divided by e to the n to the 1 over n. These cancel, leaving me with just e in my denominator. And still, I guess this is n to the 3 over n. The property for this is power raised to a power is multiply the exponents. And this is still the limit as n goes to infinity. Once again, we do have an indeterminate form here. This is infinity to the 0 power. So I have to do the exact same thing I did last time. y equals the limit. And then I take the natural log of both sides. And then I split up the right side into a subtraction because of my properties of logarithms. And I will get this. Natural log of e is actually just 1, so that's minus 1. And for the first term, I can pull the 3 over n out in front, giving me this, because again, that's a property of logarithms. And now, again, if I want to take this limit, then I'm going to have to use L'Hopital's rule. Well, first I'd write it in this form, and then I can use L'Hopital's rule. And that is going to be limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n over 1, plug in infinity, you get 0. And again, don't forget the minus 1 from earlier. This will be negative 1. And of course, that's not the answer, because this is the natural log of y. So to solve for y, take base e of both sides again. y equals e to the negative first, which is 1 over e, which is less than 1. And so again, we get converges. And there we go. That's going to do it for this video on the root test. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.